Covering Capitol Hill, lawmakers from Northeast Florida are weighing in on the president's State of the Union speech from last night. Republicans are criticizing President Biden for his tone. And that includes complaints, complaints that is, that the speech was more campaign-oriented than it should have been. The president's campaign leadership, though, calls it a home run. President Biden's speech to the joint session of Congress earned effusive praise from members of his own party or harsh critique from members of the GOP. If I had closed my eyes, I would have thought I was at the Democrat National Convention, not the State of the Union. It was such a disappointment. If you tuned in to see our country being united by a leader, you were disappointed. If you thought you were going to tune in to hear about putting America first, uh, you were disappointed. Aaron Bean and Michael Waltz are Republicans and House members who attended the State of the Union and are from our region in Florida. Putting it mildly, they didn't like the tone or the content. We had someone outlandish things that the uh, the president said, including that he shrunk the deficit by a trillion dollars. It, it was just it was so inflammatory. Were we at the State of the Union or were we at a Democratic campaign rally? Uh, if you just uh, came in from Mars and planted there, you would think that you're at a Democratic campaign rally. Look, the world is on fire right now. Uh, deterrence with our adversaries is crumbling. We've got sailors out of Mayport uh, getting used as target practice by the Houthis with an undeclared war, uh, apparently. So I just didn't hear any solutions uh, to any, any of those issues. Democrats praise the president's speech. Joe Biden delivered an incredible speech that was very well received by the American people, beginning, middle, and end. Democrats also backed their presumptive nominee in a campaign newsletter. Campaign co-chair Mitch Landrieu wrote, If you had eyes and ears, you saw a president that was tough, that was smart, that was ready for the fight, that took it to the people, and talked about the American people. Former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said what he did was spectacular. He did it with vigor, with patriotism. I think it was one of the finest State of the Union addresses, and I've seen many. Senator Marco Rubio from Florida posted this on social media. Biden screamed his way through a weird 68-minute proof-of-life speech aimed at calming down a very nervous Democrat base. President Biden left for Washington, left Washington, I should say, for Philadelphia today. He set it out for campaign events.